Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Jamo here, bringing you the next episode of my Villarreal remote on FIFA 17. Today is episode number 12, and today we have three more matches. Managa at home, Real Sociedad away, and then the biggest one of the lot. A top two battle at home to Real Madrid. We currently sit top of the table still after the last three games in the last episode by five points. Uh, Real Madrid still have two games in hand on us, but with that said, let's get into today's first match, at time, to Malaga. The Villarreal team stays the same as to what it has been over the last three matches. Fernandes in goal, Bukambu up top, um, oh, I was just for Adrian in there, it's the same, but Bukambu starts, apart from that, the team is exactly as it was throughout the course of pretty much the whole of the last episode. As for the Malaga team, I saw that they had Britos uh, in their team. Sandro caught as well. Uh, who else have they got? Uh, normally a mid-table team, I think, Malaga are, but they've got uh, De Michaelis at the back, formerly of uh, Manchester City, of course. Uh, Johnny at left mid, Britos at Cam, Sandro up top, but apart from that, not many other players that I know of. Let's get into the first half and pick up yet another three points. Sort of. Gaspar streaming through the middle. He's the right back. Room. That's a penalty. That is a clear cut penalty. Gaspar running from the right hand side. He gets the yellow card. Definite penalty. Didn't get the ball. And uh, 14 minutes in, we have another penalty. And another chance to score another early goal in another game where we need the points to maintain the strength and position ahead of Real Madrid. Uh, who took the last one? Adrian took the last one, didn't he? I think mccambu has got better penalties. Not actually he has. Well, not exactly, but I'd much rather have a striker on the penalties. So let's bury this one, shall we? Hopefully. Under the keeper. Very close to being kept out, but Pacambu comes back into the side and proves why he needs to be in this team. In the last episode, he didn't, in the first game, uh, in the last episode, he didn't play particularly as well against Valencia. Uh, but he comes into the team today and puts his team 1-0 up, 15 minutes in. Very close, but I'll take it. Recchio to Sandro to Ritos, back to Sandro, not the best defending. We need to get back into that position now before they get a shot away. Fernandez keeping us in front, 24 minutes played. Away. De Michelis with the header. High and wide, 25 minutes gone. Is it another corner? It's not, it's a goal kick. Britos, Johnny, Sandro. Good ball out wide for Wampy. Good ball into the box towards Britos, but we managed to clear it away. Not very well though. And they get it into the back of the net, but the full, full time, half time whistle has been blown, and we go in 1 0 up thanks to Pacambu, luckily putting the ball into the back of the net. A very even game. So far, the penalty is all that separates the two clubs. Let's get into the second half. What the hell just happened there? Britos has equalised for Malaga. How on earth has he... I could have sworn I dealt with that. What on earth happened to the defender? He was right there, I swear. Like, he was literally... In, the ball was literally inches away. Hold on, let's slow this down. Let's get into the right position. He was literally... I want the best position possible. So if we go from here... He was literally so close, but Britos heads Malaga back level with 35 minutes to go. Let's get the lead back. And then probably put in a challenge, a challenge, a change of our own. And that's going to happen now. Bruno's going to come off. He's got not the best of stamina at the moment for Cherezhev. Actually, no. Get Cherezhev, get him off for Sansone. And then... Sorry, I know. Uh, no. Don't know. For kids, we'll leave it at that for the time being. Make it another few changes in 10 minutes or so. 1 1 with 25 minutes to be played. 
not the best, and that's going to be full time. Is it? It's bound to be if it's. There we go. Malaga 1, Villarreal 1. Dropped points in this game and the last one against Sevilla. Currently helping Real Madrid out. But when we drew with Sevilla, they also drew their game. It's a very even game. A draw was potentially the right result based off the stats. But the next game, Real Sociedad. Let's get straight into that one away from home, I think it is. And get the three points because it's needed now. The Villarreal, the Real Sociedad team, really in goal. Navas, Martinez, Yuri at the back. Uh, Vela right wing, William Jose, and somebody else at left wing. Not many names there that I can pronounce, but my team. I've made a few changes. Sansone coming in at left wing. Castillejo coming on the right wing. Adrian coming in up top. Victor Ruiz coming in at centre back. And they are the changes that I've made to the team that played against Malaga last time out, as you can see here. So, they are the changes that I've made, the main ones happening in the front three. So let's get into the first half, get some goals, get the win, get the three points. That's a lovely ball around the corner for Castillejo, who's in. Can he get the shot away? He can. Can he score it? Yes, he can. 23 minutes gone. Castillejo comes into the game for his first start in quite a few games, to be fair, and puts his side in front away from home against Sociedad. A lovely ball in behind round the corner. Nice cut back, good shot. Keeper had to be better there, had to save it. But uh, too much on it, and we take the lead. Nice goal, 1-0. Bruno can play for Kier in here. He does and can get a shot away. It's a goal. We take the lead and then double our lead four minutes later. Need to have a look at the replay of this one. So I'm not entirely sure as to how this went in. We went in off the defender as we took the shot. It did. The keeper probably would have saved it, but the shot got deflected off of the defender's legs and potentially should go down as a Fakir goal. It doesn't. It goes down as a Martinez own goal. So Fakir has not tech has not Officially scored his 13th league goal this season, unfortunately. Jose. That's a free kick on the brink of half-time. Is Victor Ruiz getting carded? He is. It's a yellow card for Victor Ruiz at the end of the first half. For a definite, challenge, definite foul, definite free kick, of course. Can they score from it, though? No. We'll forget about that one, but that's half-time anyway. We're two up, thanks to two goals. One from Castillejo, one from... Uh, who scored the first one? I can't even remember who scored our first goal. Who scored our first goal? Oh, it's Martinez's own goal, wasn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah, Castillejo put us in front and then his own goal, wasn't it? Yeah, so, so look at the match facts. In detail, two shots, one on target for us, one shot, none on target for Sociedad. We're 2 0 up. And uh, basically, we've scored with our only shot on target. With two shots, two goals, not too shabby at all. Let's get into the second half and hope that this one, this half is much more entertaining. Gaspar to Fakir once again, round the corner for Sansone. As he played that into Fakir, he has. can he score it? No. What a save, that was from Rudy in between the sticks. Should have been 3-0. Trigueros with the ball into the box from the corner. Ruiz is there. Why? Was he offside? He must have been. Because he wouldn't have moved out of the way otherwise. Really? Alright, maybe not. He was not moving out of the way for a corner. Simple save, but really, 40 minutes to go. That's Diego and then Bruno into the game now. That's good. That's really good. So's that. So's that. Get the shot away now. Should be 3-0. Surely. That goal... Uh, Free uh, um, corner. It is right. Let's take the easy option. Play it short. The kids on the ball, so he should be able to get away with this. Is it a penalty? No. Advantage played. He's down, injured. Oh come on, Fakir, get up. Don't be a severe injury now. We need you now more than ever with Real Madrid up next. He's up, thankfully. The change is needed. The team looks knackered. 
So what we are going to do is we are actually going to get Fakir off for Soriano. Get Ruiz off for Alvaro, seven getting a red card. Get Adrian off for Soldado. And that's the only three changes we can make. 15 minutes to go, we're still 2 0 up against Real Sociedad. But surely by now, the game is dead and buried and we've secured three points. Good ball. Gaspar. Nice ball around the corner for Sansone. Get the shot away, should be 3 0, and it is. We make the changes and they have been made. And Sansone puts us 3 0 up. And definitely, the game is dead and buried. It's a lovely move. He was found in far too much space. Defenders didn't know what to do. It was an easy enough shot. And we're 3-0 up. Changes can now be made. Can we make it? 4-0. Can we make it? 4-0. Sorry, I know. We can make it 4-0. Six minutes to go. And sorry, I know. Scores our fourth goal of the day. Nicely done. Can we make it 4-0? Of course we can. Can we make it 5, though? That's the question. Nice bit of movement from Soldado. Finds his teammate in space. Simple enough. Bit close to the keeper. Could have, probably should have made the save. But it is 4-0. The game was dead and buried as it was anyway. And the last five minutes can now be played. Can we make it 5-0? Let's find out. Ilara. What a goal. We don't find a fifth, but Real Sociedad find a constellation with a lovely goal from, uh, is it Carl, I can't remember who it was, is it Carl Speyer? Don't know, but whoever it was, lovely goal, bit late though. Laura Mendy, putting them somewhat back into the game, but far too late. We should and probably can make it five from here. Soldado's got the fresh legs against the defender, of course. Can we make it five? No, we can't. But that is full time. Anyway, it ends. Real Sociedad one, Villarreal four. And we pick up three massive points as we now head into the biggest game of the season. Real Madrid at home. We sit top of the league. They are yet to play their next game against Espanyol. When we drew against Malaga in the last match, they drew their game um, against Granada. So the points tally before this game against uh, Real Sociedad uh, was still five points. Madrid have dropped a gap to four points. Seven points is what it will be if we can beat Real Madrid in the next match. Um, so with that said, let's jump straight into it. The Valencia team, Fernandes in goal, Gaspar, Musashio, Ruiz and Costa at the back, Bruno Trigoros and Fakir in midfield with Castillejo, Adrian and Sansone up top. The team is exactly the same as Torp beat Real Sociedad 4-1 in the last match. Real Madrid, Benzema, Bale, Ronaldo, James in behind them. But Rand obviously isn't there anymore. He's obviously made a £45 million pound move to Chelsea. Let's have a look. They've obviously got the, the uh, main front three we need to be wary of. Navas in goal, Carvajal, Pepe, Ramos, Marcelo, Modric, Coquelin in midfield. Coquelin is in midfield, formerly of Arsenal, with Rodriguez, Bale, Ronaldo and Benzema as the front four. It's a top two battle, four points separate them. Madrid win, they go in a point. We win, we go seven points clear. Oh my God, that's right. Madrid have played their 23rd game. They're a point behind us already. So if they win, they go top. If we win, we extend the points gap back to four. Let's get into the first half. This is huge. Thank you. This is good. Can we take the lead with Sansone? Get the shot away, we can't. Navas pulling off a fantastic save, giving us a corner. We're on the front foot as we'd want to be. Head that into the back of the net, someone. Just, or not, give us the corner. Thanks for our Madrid. We'll take the corner again. That's a bit better. We still keep hold of the ball though. Trigueros to Bruno, into Fakir. That's going to be a free kick. And it's a fantastic position as well. 
16 minutes played. Who's on it? Fakir. Have we got any other free kick takers? We have, but I'll let Fakir take it. Let's try and get it over, Ham over Hamas's head if we can. Blocked. Damn it. Come on, somebody put a tackle in. Unlucky. We, kick we get the ball back straight away, though. This is good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Go on, Castillejo. Why you I don't why I passed that, but never mind. Bruno! Wide. Genuinely thought that was going top bins, but 23 minutes played, it's still nil-nil. What a chance. Unlucky. Just got to make sure we don't allow Real Madrid in at any time, because if they win, they go above us in the table. We can't let this... We had a lead of, like, eight points at one point in the season... And it's dropped to one point purely because we dropped points. We drew games against Sevilla and Malaga, of course, which doesn't exact, didn't exactly help us at the time. We've got the corner. Someone's going to have to come short, I think. It'll probably work out a little bit better. Someone slipped in, and the cross wasn't exactly good enough. Let's go. Go, 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 go. That's a lovely ball up. Oh, come on. Pepe's putting my shirt. Fakir. See you later, Pepe. That's a penalty. All day long. On the brink of half time, we have a chance to take the lead. Pepe committed the foul. Definite foul. Didn't get any of the ball. Turned in with a bit of skill. And he just delayed his challenge. I'll give, I don't care. I want Fakir to score. So I'm going to give it to him. We've got the arrow off. We need to put this into the back of the net because then it will be half time. We go right. Yes, get in there. We've taken the lead against Real Madrid at home on the brink of half time as well. Definite penalty, like I say. Very well put away. Sends Navas the wrong way. And we take the lead on the brink of half time. Probably the last kick of the half, too. And that's half time. We're one up. Against Real Madrid at home. Madrid in that first half have only had one shot to our seven. So the commentators were saying, and that is true. We've had seven shots free on target, winning 1-0. Madrid losing. And only have only had managed to get one shot away in that first half and didn't even manage to get it on target. We're in front and we thoroughly deserve it. Not very well defended at all. He's going to get a shot away if we're not careful. And fires only millimetres wide of the goal with just under half an hour TV played. Let's make a change or see if there's anything to do with regards to changes. Bruno is going to come off for Soriano. And we are going to get... I'd like to leave... I'm going to leave Gaspar on for the time being. I do want to bring him off because of that yellow card. But we're going to leave him on. Castillejo for Emre Moore. And that will do for the time being. Just under half an hour to go. We're still 1-0 up in the biggest game of our season. It's nice. Sansone inside. He's going to have to play N. Ray Moore in. He's in here. Can he get the second goal of the game? Can he get the shot away? He can. But Carvajal smashes it away. And that should be a 1-0 Villarreal win now. And it is. We've extended our lead at the top of the table. Back to four points. Uh, by beating Real Madrid 1-0. Thanks to the penalty taken and scored by Nabil Fakir in the first half. Madrid had four shots in that game and got none of them on target. We had ten shots, four on target. Got what we deserved in that game. A, a win. Could have been more. Probably should have been more. Uh, but we got what we needed and wanted. And we are a step closer now to La, La, Liga, La, La Liga title. Uh, we need to hope that we can continue putting Madrid under pressure. Have they dropped any further down the table? I don't know whether they have. Let's have a look at the league table before finishing today's episode. Madrid, we're level on, on games with Madrid now, so that should be good. We can push on now with the final 14 games that remain. Barcelona are five... Uh, two. Four, five points behind behind Real and then Valencia are a further um, eight points behind them. So the top four places virtually confirmed with another few wins, hopefully. 
and then a few wins will come in the next episode where we play three more matches and we start the month of March. Osusana away, Espanyol at home and Celta Vigo away from home. They are the three matches we're in the next episode as we kick off the month of March. But thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe as always, share it around and I shall see you in the next episode of this series very soon. Indeed. See you later.